Hi, I'm Television's Nicholas Dunn. Before we start tonight's episode, I wanted to issue a public statement regarding a recent video that surfaced on my Instagram account. The video in question is a part of an ongoing investigation orchestrated by myself and the Victorian Police Department into Joe Vagano, a man attempting to extort me through blackmail, intimidation, and threats of blackmail. A little over a week ago, Vagano, or Oily Joe as he calls himself, posed as a casting director for a legitimate audition I had for the show Neighbours. After I smashed the audition and was awarded the part, Vagano then stole the tape and threatened to release it publicly. Little did he know I've been working with the Victorian Police Department, as I've said, and they urged me to post the video myself. I don't care about a bit of D on the TV, Fassbender did it. It's important to remember that in war times, the best approach isn't necessarily the most glamorous. But I think what should be more uh, concerning to the public is that since the video went live, I haven't heard from anyone at Neighbours. It is therefore vital that we capture Joe before it's too late. As you can see, the man is 130 centimetres tall. He has grey, balding hair, uh, wrinkly skin like a turtle, and no eyebrows like a turtle. I am urging the public if anybody has any information on Oily Joe or knows anyone at Neighbours, please tell them to get in touch because I'm still very interested in the part. I have other things lined up, but I um, can move things around. So do get in touch and, and we'll do the show. Hi and welcome back to Meet the Barista episode five. My name is Nicholas Dunn. Welcome to the show. Back to our standard setup this week, what with everything going on, legal fees, etc. I thought I needed to make a bit of money. So if everyone could please like and subscribe, we really need to start getting this thing out there if we're gonna see any money. And turn ad blocker off for God's sake. We did have a guest lined up this week. Um, it was Sarah Marie from Big Brother season one, um, but unfortunately she couldn't make it. Our panelist, Glenn Walton, is also unable to be here tonight. He's uh, booked a gig on Australia's Got Talent, so. Best of luck to him. Uh, so just me here this week. I thought with the uh, lack of guests, we could do a kind of Q&A. So people can write in, ask me questions about coffee and showbiz. Uh, but until then, I thought we'd introduce a new segment, which uh, I'm, I'm calling it Google It. And it's basically, we've got this card here. And so what we're gonna do is, what is Nicholas done? And then Google, um, Google will answer the question based on the uh, qu so what people ask and questions. So, uh, okay, so what is Nicholas done? Let me peel this. Uh, so Nicholas Dunn. Um, there is no H in my name, so thanks for writing in. That was good. Oh, we can do that uh, next week. And that's Coffee Up. Ooh, holy macaroni. All right, so Doc told me I needed to stay away from the espresso machine for a couple weeks. Now, bird hands are a staple of my profession, but you've got to listen to the Doc. That's the law. Uh, so, what we're going to be doing instead is uh, at home brew kit, right? What we've got here is the AeroPress. And what you do is you just kind of put them together and you just push. Uh, oh, okay. The glass did smash there. Uh, so now, and we'll cut over to our Twitter feed. Oh, okay, I've got one here from Craig M. So Craig has written in, what was life like on the set of Mortified? Did any of you guys hook up asking for a friend? And he's done a little winky face there. So well, to answer the second part of the question, no, none of us hooked up because we were 12 years old. You dirty birdie, what do you like? In terms of life on set, uh, what can I say? Those days were filled with uh, laughter and smiles. I can honestly say that they were the, the best days of my life. Uh, so thanks for writing in. Uh, okay, I've got one here from Michael Pompeo. He's written in, uh, would you like to earn up to $4,000 a day? Um, and he's put a little link there. It would help with the legal fees. So I'll click that. Oh, oh bad time for a hard reset, Apple. Oh, holy smokes. You guys, you guys open? What? No, we're not open. This, uh, we're shooting a TV series. The sign says, I mean, the sign says open. Isn't there a sign there? Okay, that's not the point. I'm doing a cappuccino right now. I don't well, need... it's shooting a show, so you've got to get out of here. It's like a deep dish. Who's, this is a TV show. Oh, you're doing a TV show? There's something to lose a lot of blood. Give me one hot steam and slice now. Fuck you, man. 
Glenn were here, he'd say, just be positive. Because he you knows my blood type, because he's my best friend. He'd say, I'm sorry I took the audition. You know I, you know I love you. Get off it, Glenn. You want to see a magic trick? Or anything in the world. Well, how about we start with that hand of yours? It's cute! Now how about we get those wet clothes off? You must be freezing, you'll catch a cold. I'm in a nutty! Nothing wrong with what God gave you. Gain, gain a bit of weight over the last couple of years. Nothing wrong with that. Glenn? You ever get so used to people saying no, you subtle one if you even exist? You ever wonder that, Glenn? If you even exist?